Billy the Artist here. The last how to draw videos that I did were from the Muppets. We've got Kermit, Miss Piggy and Denise Piggy and there's time lapses on the how to draw playlist on my YouTube channel. And this is my most recent full drawing. There will be a full time lapse of this one, but there's other stuff on my painting and drawing tutorials because I do a lot of motorsport art, particularly motorcycles, oil paintings and pencil drawings. And this is quite a long, intricate drawing. Again, you'll see the time lapse of this one. This is Tommy Bridewell in the 2015 British Superbike Championship. But I use the same kind of techniques that are in how to draw Kermi Wormi and all the others. But today it's all about joy. We're going to do joy from inside out and drawing should be joy. You should have fun. Again, this is for beginners. It's going to be very quick and we're just going to start off nice and simply with some big shapes so you can see joy and a head and a chin. So we're just going to put some big shapes in. Remember my how to draw anything. It's all about using shapes. So if I put some big shapes in first and little one for a neck and a body is in the bottom half of so there's a rectangle and here we've got a kind of little bit of a triangle and her arm down to a hand and then this arm is another rectangle coming down to her elbow her hands a little tiny triangle so we pop that in. In fact, the chin is below the halfway line. So let's get this kind of corrected a bit better. But again, putting these shapes down allows you to draw the image very, very quickly. And this is how you don't want to try and get a perfect drawing straight away. And that's why I'm doing this stuff for beginners. So you can see by putting these very loose construction lines down, you can start to evaluate where the shapes need to go. And then you can use an eraser as part of a drawing tool to start to get your detail and your drawing coming to life. So a shoulder needs to be quite further down. So now if we erase that out, and the top of her head is there, and we've got these shapes coming down, and her eye is right in the centre. So we know there's going to be an eye there and a little button nose and a nice big smile. And then an oval for her other eye. Just indicate that in. And if we just erase that shape out where the hand was. So here you can see just putting the shapes in very loosely, just a bit of a square. And then let's bring that hand down. The side of Joy's head goes up there and her hair is little diamonds and, and shapes on this kind of giant it's just an off oval so really you could draw a box for the head and then you can kind of see where if you draw a box around the outside the angle will go up for going up the side of a cheek to where the hair comes so you can see where her eye comes down you've then got a little point for her hair as it comes round. And then we can get rid of that shoulder with an eraser. And then you can pull that shoulder over and a neck is coming down. So a neckline needs to just come to that side. 
so there you can see we've got some very very quick loose lines that we can start to detail up and there's a hip coming off and the kind of where the hemline or well, the hemline but the edge of a skirt joining the top part of a dress comes in and we can indicate the top of a shoulder line coming down the side of a body down to a skirt line again you can start to then build up slightly darker lines now here we've got the very very quick simple basics in and we can start building up the details quite quickly again I'm using pencil this is my trusty 2B pencil again as normal and we need a straight line down for the top of a hand and the tops of her fingers if you build break those down into there's a little kind of parallelogram just off a square and then you know so you've drawn that you can do two little lines and then you've got a triangle there for her fingers the edge of a finger that's how you can build the hand up and she's got very slight slender arms so here I know that the edge of all of these characters out of inside out is all fuzzy but there you can see her arm developing up so all down this edge would be nice and fuzzy so if you were doing this with a pencil crayon you could make the edge nice and pixelated just like they are on any of the stills that you see from the film so now we've got a thumb that needs to come up there that touches a chin and you just need to curve that over a little bit the knuckle little lump there for the knuckle where it comes that the thumb comes down and then you can just increase the dark lines of the fingers and because you put the shapes in you don't have to start in one corner and work over you can start adding your darker detailed lines if you wanted to you could use a, a felt tip pen if you wanted and then color in with felt tip pens or you could just keep your lines nice and light very very light like, like here if i draw that line there you cannot see it but there's an actual line that i've just drawn on you can draw with a pencil really really lightly i'll just get rid of that because of the drawing at the end and then you can color your picture in of joy with pencil crayons as nicely as you want and you can actually build up the detail nice and slowly but again i'm just trying to encourage you let's get a chin coming round coming up to there and again i'm encouraging you to want to draw and get joy in drawing so try and draw inside the circle even if it means turning your paper around i'm leaving the static so you can actually see the picture of joy that i'm using as the basis so that you can see or if you're going to draw inside the curve don't less rest your elbow actually on otherwise you're stuck with a pivot point get your arm up so that your arm can actually move from your shoulder and your elbow and your wrist and your fingers all work together so here i'm now going to draw down this darker line coming down to just behind the finger let's just really accentuate a nose as that comes up and then you've got this eye is just inside of a nose and it's going to come there And we'll pick her eyes out in a second just so that they stand out a lot more so if we bring that oval down and then a kind of eyeshadow blue line would be a bit thicker and then we can draw the outer line of the iris and then the oval inside and there's a highlight on this one but there's not one on this side and the highlights always give that kind of nice thing I'll leave one in there 
and I'll move the other highlight over. Just because it's nice to see a white highlight sticking out. Again, I'll just shade quite quickly. Again, lighter there, so press on darker at the top. <clears throat> And so it's light around the edge. Remember, you can always use an eraser. I use these putty rubbers. That's quite an old one, that's why it's dirty. That's a newer one that I'm using for various things. And I use these on the Tommy Bridewell picture too. And you can just lighten that up a little bit. So again, if we now bring her left eye down. And start to build that up and we want this oval so the dark of her eye is going to be a similar size there and that's a full oval and obviously this one's cut off you can obviously go over that line and draw the oval for the outer of her iris and that will you can then erase it if you want I mean I've got very loosely indicated there's a bit of a line there so I'm going to move that dot down to match that one. So it's the same. And it's actually in. <clears throat> this is called artistic license where you can do what you like with your drawing. Enjoy starting to stand out. Again, I'll just keep all of that going the same. Either use your finger or a bit of paper towel and you can actually smudge those around and then use your putty rubber and you can just add some little highlight details excuse me and then the outside of the iris is a little bit darker and you can draw little lines to accentuate that and make that stand out the same Again, here we've got Joy's smile. She's got over from her nose underneath her eye. So you can now pinpoint it and put the little crease in a smile line. And that's going to come down to halfway there. So again, get your hand inside the curve and you can draw the lips down. She's got nice, slim, slender lips and then the underneath line and then get your eraser if you want and you can remove that construction line <laughs> so joy is starting to come together quite nicely we draw the edge of a dress put a darker line on there now so that comes down a little kink where the fabric joins on a dress and we can now do that to the inside going over her left shoulder and then the fabric coming down and then a neck just a nice curve going down underneath the left armpit to the left part of her arm and her arm's got just a nice little bend as it comes and joins. And then you've got like, the elbow crease coming over the top, going down a wrist, down to a hand. Put the point of her elbow in and then you can join that up. And keep that curve going again. Follow the curve, you use the curve of your wrist to put that shape in. That side of her arm coming down right to a wrist joint. Then you've got a vertical line, just a little curve coming down to make the top of the hand. And then curve the fingers underneath. And then put the edge of the skirt going up. And there you have the outline of all of Joey's body, which is quite smart and quite nice. And then we can just build up the hair. So obviously you've got 
little diamonds, little triangles. But again, hair, follow the kind of flow of hair. So we know we've got a point here on her eye. So even though you've got a triangle shape of just a point shape, like a tooth or a kind of upside down shark's fin, when you draw it down to the point, follow the course of the hair as if you're brushing it with your actual pencil. And then, again, just the hair coming off. You've got a nice line coming in there. Just follow the angles. There's a little kind of spiky bit coming off. Now we've got the spiky bits at the back and the bits that are coming down the side of her head from a fringe that comes right over the left-hand side of her face. So again, follow that down and then curve that back up. You've got the next point down, follow that curve and then curve it back up. And she's got some little triangles inside again. They are the shapes of a head, the hair that follow the contours of a head. The back of a head will curve out and you've just got a little dink there coming down to this last little triangle. And then there's another one that just peeks out at the back. But then we've got this lovely little spike at the top coming to the corner. So if you did that little square at the back, you can look at the point where the spike's coming up inside and you, you can draw a triangle if you want. And then there's another triangle there and a third one on the top. And then there's three little dinky ones. So you can in indicate them there. And then you've got this little point there that comes over. But again, you can then just follow the shapes of the drawing lines that you've put down. And you can just make it to look a little bit more funky as her hair is. And just use pencil strokes to accentuate the shapes of her hair. And if you're colouring this in with felt tip, use the darker lines to do your outer lines and then a lighter blue. And the same goes with pencil crayon. Again, I'm just using pencil. to get all of this down very, very quickly. So there's a nice outline of Joy. Now we're going to shade her in very, 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 very quickly. Just sharpen my pencil. It's quite like a 2B. 2B, you get the grades, remember, from things like a H, which is hard, to B is soft, 8B is very, very soft. But a 2B is just a nice general in between. HB is the kind of pencils that you would use for writing at school in your school books if you still use pencils there as I did when I was a child before you progress to a pen or maybe even a laptop all the way through so now I've just whacked in a mid-tone very very quickly and again you use either your finger or a bit of tissue kitchen roll and you can smudge the hair in and again follow the hair shapes And the same thing with your eraser, just to put the highlights in very quickly. Just follow the shape of the hair as if you're brushing it. And that'll allow you to put the highlights on for a hair to make it stand out. And you'll want some slightly darker lines on the top coming down use rather than using the point like you've seen me drawing so far use the side of your pencil again all of these kind of techniques are in my how to and you can see there that there's a flatter bigger line how to draw anything part one the links are in the cards and in the description underneath in the youtube channel and they are my basics showing you these using shapes to put these drawings together very very quickly and part one of how to draw anything just covers using the shapes 
as you've seen me do here. Part two covers the simple shading techniques that again I'm replicating here and that I use in my very highly detailed drawings. So here we've got using the side of the pencil and you can do different pressures to get different darkness of tone. And again, if you use a 4B, if you get those pencil sets, then you will end up with much wider range of pencils from say 6H right the way through to 8B. Let's put our eyeshadow in on the top. So now very, very quickly, we've got a shadow down this size side. A lips of pink, so if I just smudge that with my finger and underneath the nose, a shadow down the side of her head, underneath the hair, just a little shadow underneath the side of her cheek, but then you've got this diagonal shadow underneath her chin, shadow under her arm. You can use the side of the pencil very quickly to fill in quite big areas but then use your finger and an eraser to pull up the highlights and smudge so just do a very 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 quick fill in on a dress and use a clean piece this time because the dress is quite light and again you can use previously smudged bits of the paper, uh, of the tissue paper. So we, and you can make darker smudging lines. Shape her eyes, put the shadow around from under her nose, under her right eye, and you need a little bit of shadow just for that shape. Again, that under her neck, smudge down on her arms and her hands, much the edge again a bit of more shadow again there's now I've got more pencil on the paper where it was clean the tissue paper you can actually use that like a pencil and a drawing tool to create the shadow as well so here we now have joy all filled in quite nicely I'll drop my rubber so here's my putty rubber again now and so here if we now pick up some highlights, so the edge and the side of her nose going up, the white on the side of her eye, over the top, just a nice little bit on her lips, a bit on the neck, again on her arms, just pick up on the top of her forearm, coming down the tops of her fingers, Smudge that finger in a little bit. Again, you can pick up that shadow well by using your eraser and just pulling up, pulling off a little bit. It makes the shadows do their job. So again, remember the light coming from this side, so you want it on the tops of the fingers and the top of the thumb and the top of that finger. Now, finally, you've got the kind of little spider's web crosses on a dress. So you just remember that, like, just drawing a star, very, very simple, a star pattern like that. That is all that's on her dress. So if you draw one line down, I'm looking here now, and I'm using the eraser to draw, and then we've got that line coming across. You can then do the star pattern. And you can keep pinching your putty rubber into a point. And you can just nice and simply create this nice little pattern in a dress because you've used the tissue paper to create that tone all the way over. And then you go back to the paper just by using the putty rubber. And that is how you can utilize 
an eraser as part of your drawing tools. And so simple things like the pattern on Joy's dress. If you think, oh, I've got to leave that paper white, you can use the eraser to create the pattern very quickly and very simply. And all you do is you use it in exactly the same way as you would do a pencil. You just use it for your drawing. If you can hear that barking in the background, that's how a cute little dog barking away merrily. He barks at his food just as much. And there's a video on my YouTube channel of him barking. I might actually put the link in that for you so you can check out our dog BJ barking because he's cute and he does it for hours. He's nuts. Now we've got this little flower pattern and you've got a line there and one there, a little line. And these are just little flecks with your pencil and just indicate it quite quickly. Joy's explosion of joy kind of flower. And then you've got the one down here. There's a light, slightly lighter one there. And then we've got this last one. And so here, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. There's a time lapse that goes with it. So you can see this in about 30 seconds. Just a quick overview of the drawing coming together. I put those up because they are a nice help as well. And we're going to do all the other characters. So we're going to do anger and sadness and the other nice characters out of Inside Out. But there, very, very quickly, is how to draw joy. I hope you've enjoyed that. And do like and subscribe to my channel and you can be kept up to date when I do more how to draw videos like this. And you'll also see my main art like this, which is Tommy Bridewell. And you'll see me doing all of these techniques in practice on how to draw to encourage you guys to get joy in drawing and also my main art. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and do like and subscribe. Ta-da.